Hey guys, Merry Christmas. It is Christmas morning. We opened up all of our presents and I'm going to make breakfast. I'm tired. I do not feel good this morning, but I stayed up until like 3.30. Um, I am going to have some coffee because I'm going to need something to get through this day. Hello, Olivia. <laughs> in my messy kitchen. I need to get it cleaned up. And uh, somebody else would like to say hello. <laughs> Stop, please. Okay. So I'm going to make coffee, make breakfast. We're waiting for the older kids to show up. They're at their dad's for Christmas morning this year. So. Uh, there's my coffee what? machine. I'm Mommy, gonna go make myself a cup of coffee. Okay, so we have a tradition every Christmas morning that we make uh, It's a breakfast casserole of sausage and eggs and tater tots. It's delicious. Uh, the bacon's just for fun because we all love bacon. <laughs> Um, I also will make German pancakes that we eat uh, called Flinsen, so that's what the bowls are for. And we're just waiting on the bacon right now. I like to fry it because I keep the bacon grease. Yes, I know some of you are probably saying, ugh, gross, but we use it for different things, so I'm getting started. Alrighty, so for the, the casserole, the breakfast casserole, the first thing I do is put these tater tots in a pot and I just turn them on pretty low so they don't burn or stick after they warm up a bit. Then I will actually just smash them all up. Still doing bacon. I like my bacon burnt, so I let it cook a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get started on this sausage. Okay, I have the sausage all chopped up. I like it to be in <laughs> little pieces like this. Hey, Lincoln, some fun? <laughs> Still have the bacon going. My kids don't like it burned, so I've turned it down, so it's cooking a little more slowly. I'm still slowly heating up these tater tots. I just stirred them a little bit, so it sticks to the bottom. I have another pan on the stove, and I'm gonna throw the sausage in. All right, the next piece is to crack all of these eggs, and I'll probably add a few more than 12, and we're just gonna scramble them up. Okay, I've got eggs ready. The last two pieces of bacon are cooking. The meat, the sausage is getting warm. And our potatoes, our tater tots, are ready to be squished up. And I use this thing I've been using the same thing for about 20 years to smash up tater tots for this breakfast casserole. So I'm gonna do this right now. Okay, I've mashed up all of the tater tots. They're more like hash browns now. I suppose you could just use hash browns to make this, but you know, it's tradition and I'm all about tradition and keeping things the same. Probably part of my autism is not liking change, and so I do things the same way every year, every time. For those of you that didn't know that I have autism, I actually was diagnosed this last year at the age of 43, but it's explained a lot of things in my life. So, and I don't, it was a good and bad thing, I guess. Good to know, and, and then I feel like I'm kind of I don't know, I'm still wrestling with it. But anyway, here's another tradition for me. And I know some of you will be completely grossed out again, but I love eggs fried in bacon, <laughs> in bacon grease. So before I dump the grease into the little jar that we save it in, um, I always fry myself a couple of eggs. And I like my eggs over hard, so I break the yolks on them. All right. So this meat actually is warm and ready to join the tater tots. Uh, something I forgot to tell you is that I always turn the burner off once I have the tater tots like this because it doesn't matter which pot I use, they always stick to the bottom. Again, this is a pot I've been using for probably 10 years for the same dish, so <laughs> um, it's pretty scraped up and uh, the Tater tots stick even worse to this because the non-stick surface is kind of scratched off. But anyway, I'm going to put the meat in there and mix it up. Okay, I'm 
my eggs are done. The dog is over there just waiting for me to drop something. <laughs> Poor thing. Anyway, I'm ready to cook my eggs. So what I do is I rinse out this pan that had the bacon in it after I've poured my grease into a jar. And, but I don't wash it because I like the flavor that it leaves behind and I just add some butter and then we'll pour the eggs inside. There's the dog again. <laughs> she makes me laugh. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the eggs in. I know the butter's not melted all the way, but it'll be fine. Alrighty. Okay, I'm just gonna let that cook. Another Christmas morning tradition are these Pillsbury orange rolls. We eat them every year with our casserole and our flins in. So I'm gonna put these on the tray so I can stick them in the oven. Okay, my baking sheets are old, <laughs> like everything else in my house. So I always wrap them in foil and then I spray them with some nonstick cooking spray beef, uh, before I put the rolls on or anything else, that's cookies, whatever we're cooking. All right, we've got scrambled eggs. Just gonna mix them right into this pot. They're crazy! <laughs> all right, this is all mixed up. The next thing I do is put a layer of cheese over it and then I stick it in the oven to melt. All right, we got a nice layer of cheese. I'm gonna put that in the oven to melt. And at the same time, I'm also going to stick in my rolls. Okay, so the last thing that I need to make is the flinzen. So this I usually just do by look. <laughs> it's a family recipe, I just kind of memorized it. And anyway, I don't need to make very many, so I'm just using a small bowl and I fill this bowl halfway with flour. Okay, so now I have sugar and I put in half the amount of sugar that I put in the flour. Does that make sense? <laughs> so however much flour I put in, I'm going to put in half that much in sugar. Okay. Okay, I added my sugar. The last two things we add are one egg, and some milk. After I add the egg and some milk, I found that a wire whisk is the easiest way to get all of the um, dry ingredients wet. So what I'm doing is I'm going to whisk it, get, as, get rid of as many of the bumps as I can, and also I want the consistency to be kind of thin, so I'm going to get this whisked up and see where we are. Okay, I've whisked this together. Uh, we're looking at kind of soupy, like when I go through, I feel a little bit of resistance. And so I think I'm gonna add just a teeny bit more milk. You can see there's still some lumps in there. I never can get them all out, but I try. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little bit more milk, whisk it one more time, and then I'll show you how to cook it. Okay, I think we are ready. My batter is fairly thin, and then I actually use a uh, ladle to pour it into the pan. I usually pour in two ladlefuls. We'll see how that goes today. Um, you'll need butter, you'll need a spatula, you'll need this knife for more than just the butter. <laughs> so I have it turned on low, the pan, and you actually need a good sized chunk of butter. Ooh, I just got this out of the fridge. So sometimes the butter can last through two flinsen, but really just take it in there and I'm gonna let it melt and coat the bottom of the pan. Okay, the butter is melted. So what I do from here is I put in two spoonfuls of the 
batter. Sorry, got distracted for a second listening to the kids. I think they're fighting. All right. So then I take this and and just kind of spread it out. And if it seems like it's not getting big enough, then I will add more batter to it. So I'm actually gonna add a couple more scoops of the batter. And I'm going to spread this out so it covers the whole bottom of the pan. So, um, yeah, we'll see how this spreads out. My Omi, who's the one that taught us all this recipe, she always threw the first one away because it didn't taste right. Um, sometimes the first one is the crispiest one, so I often save it and eat it myself. <laughs> so um, we're going to let that sit. I let it cook until there's a lot of bubbles forming on this side, and then I will flip it. My timer just went off for these guys. So, pretty good timing. Still got a flimsing going. There is still a casserole in the oven. Um, cheese is completely melted on it, so I just turned the oven off to keep it warm. I'm gonna put frosting on top of these. All right, what makes these orange cinnamon rolls is the yummy orange sauce that we put on top, so put that on right now they're still warm so when I put it on the sauce just melts the frosting I guess you call it <laughs> all right all right these are ready to eat they look delicious and I think our flinzen is ready to be flipped all right so here is our first flinzen let's see how it's bubbling around here the middle still seems a little thick but I bet it's ready to be flipped. So here's the thing. Sometimes I can get it with the spatula if I can get it underneath really well. Um, but oftentimes I need to use a knife to hold the other side so I can flip both. Or two spatulas would probably work too. So I'm gonna flip this real quick. Okay, so I was able to flip it with just the spatula, but I used the knife to pull up a side so I get the spatula positioned underneath real well. It looks nice and crispy. See, sometimes the first one comes out pretty good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make as many of these as I can with the batter that I have. I've got this much left. It actually will make quite a few, so I'm going to get those done so we can eat. Okay, breakfast is ready in this messy Christmas house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Santa did us a thousand Christmas stuff. A thousand Christmas stuff. Yeah, huh? because we always. Look, the dog's right here. She's like, yep, yeah, it's time for me to eat too. <laughs> All right, we need to say a prayer. You ready? Okay, let's say a prayer, a Christmas prayer. You ready? Fold your hands. All right. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day, for the gifts we were given, for the food we will eat, and thank you for sending us your son, Jesus, to be an example for how we should live our lives. In your name, amen. Sissy. That wasn't nice. I was helping you. I know you were. You can do both next time, okay, bubs? All right, you ready to dig in? Yeah, All right, baby. let's eat, baby. Let's eat, too, too. 